Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. As you can see a whole bunch of laundry behind me. Today we're going to be looking at dehumidifiers. Now dehumidifier to help you dry your laundry quicker or help the laundry dry quicker, especially if you do not have a tumble dryer at home and you live in the UK where in the middle of winter, well, as we are right now, the weather isn't great for you to dry your laundry outside. So let's have a look at if the dehumidifier can help dry the laundry quicker, as well as a bunch of other things the dehumidifier is useful for. Okay, so let's turn this on now. Now, mine is set to auto because it was set on auto last time. And the first thing it shows is the humidity in the room. So this is showing 61% humidity while well, it's gone down to 60 now. So this is showing what the humidity is in the room where you are. Now, this first button here is the timer. So let's say you want it for five hours, take it up to five, and it blinks five times, meaning that it is set now. Now this can go up all the way to 24 hours. Let me show you. There you go, now it's set to 24 hours. Now the next option here, you have the sleep mode, which is uh, for nighttime when you're going to bed, if you wanna leave it on all night. Uh, it works pretty quietly, so it works I believe at 50% uh, uh, Function, functioning capacity or whatever you want to call it. And the next is the storage mode. Now that is if you want to store it long term and you don't want to use it, let's say for a couple of months because you don't have humidity, then you hold this button down for three seconds and it does a bit of cleaning so it doesn't get mold or dust inside for about 10 minutes and then it goes on to storage mode. The next is the fan options. So you have the low and the high option. So there's only two options here. Now this here, this is where you set the humidity, how, you, how low you want the humidity in the room. Let's say I want it at 50. So I set it up at 50. Again, it blinks for five times. Well, it blinks five times. It flashes five times actually. Uh, so I can actually go down all the way to 30, I believe, and then back to 80. So depending on where you are and how low you want the humidity, you can set it to what you would like. And the next mode here is where you set if you want it on all the time. So if you have it on continuous mode, then it's gonna constantly be on. Whereas if you have it on auto mode, then it automatically turns off, I believe five, when it's 5% below the set humidity. So mine is set to 50. So when the humidity goes down to 45, this automatically turns off. Now, if I leave it on continuous, it will go on at all times. And if you have kids at home, then this is perfect here. You, you see a little lock button there. If you just hold that down, LC, that means now this is locked. So your children, whatever they press, they're not really gonna be able to change anything, especially if you have a kid that likes to fiddle around. So to unlock it, now hold it down. There you go. That didn't quite work. There you go. And to turn it off, if you want to manually turn it off, you simply turn it off. You also have the notice here, which shows that you have to run the storage function before you take it to storage. I accidentally said 10 minutes earlier. I was meant to say 50 minutes as it says here. That's five zero fifty 50 minutes. One of the cool things is that it has a nice handle on top and also these wheels at the bottom, so you can just wheel it to wherever you want it. Now, if you think 1.8 liters isn't enough, you can also connect a pipe straight to the drainage. Uh, the pipe comes with this uh, dehumidifier. You can connect this straight here, which takes it to your drainage, or which you could take to your drainage, or a bigger container where you can have more than 1.8 liters. So I've just got some fresh laundry out from the washing machine and I have just turned this dehumidifier on next to the laundry to show you how much water it collects and if it helps the clothes dry quicker. 
It generally takes about two days in winter indoors for the clothes to dry with the help of uh, having the radiators on in the evenings and mornings. But with this dehumidifier, it's been a bit quicker and I'm going to show you how it collects water from uh, fresh laundry as well. So I've had this dehumidifier on for four hours now and it's currently sitting at 50% humidity. The clothes feel fairly dry, some of them, and uh, let's have a look at uh, what the water level is inside. As you can see, we're sitting at about 20%, I guess, 20% of the tank is full. So I'm gonna turn off the dehumidifier and drain the water. For best results, make sure you put the dehumidifier just below the clothes air with all the laundry. So when it comes to condensation, our kitchen is probably one of the worst places. Uh, you can see water there everywhere, uh, the condensation, especially after cooking. A whole lot more here by the window and a lot here in the kitchen door as well. Pretty much everywhere really, as you can see. So I like to use the dehumidifier every once in a while in the kitchen. What I generally like to do is leave it on auto with high fan for about two to three hours and wait for it to do its magic. So let's come back in two hours and see how it's done. The dehumidifier has been on in the kitchen for two hours and 45 minutes now and the humidity there says 56% where it said 69 or 70 earlier. As you can see now, the condensation on the kitchen walls, all the water is pretty much gone and it took about two and a half hours. Again, same here by the window, most of the moisture there is gone. And here on the door as well, a lot of it seems to have gone now. However, I can see that some parts of the door still has a little bit of condensation left but this is a lot less than what it was before. Well, the question is, does the dehumidifier help one's laundry dry quicker? And I can definitely tell you yes. Now my laundry used to take about two to three days to dry indoors in the winter. But now with the dehumidifier, it only takes about one day to one and a half days. But also don't forget, you need to use the spin cycle on your washing machine after it's finished washing. And I also have the heating, the internal heating of the house on in the mornings and evenings because you can't just expect the dehumidifier alone to dry your clothes rather quickly. I mean, other than drying clothes, it's also perfect if you want to get rid of condensation or moisture in your home. And I'm sure a lot of people in colder countries or in the UK struggle with condensation and moisture indoors. And what the laundry does is a wet laundry or a damp laundry introduces more of that. So a dehumidifier like the one I have is perfect. Now, depending on what size homes you have or rooms you have, you can even get a bigger one or you can just get a non-electric one as I uh, shared a video or I did a video a couple of weeks ago for one that does not require electricity and you can use tablets but don't forget they're not really good for big rooms or for drying a lot of or getting rid of a lot of condensation and mold and also for laundry. Now I got this dehumidifier primarily to dry the laundry. I did used to have electric uh, drying racks, but I did not really like them. And I do not have a tumble dryer and do not wish to get one. Also because this dehumidifier perfectly works, works perfectly. It helps uh, me dry my laundry or helps us dry our laundry a bit quicker and we've loved using it. So Hopefully this video has been useful for you today. If you're looking for an alternative solution to helping you, you or your clothes dry, well, helping you keep your house dry or your clothes dry quicker indoors, especially during the colder months. Once again, 
Thank you for watching today's video and hope to see you all again in two weeks time. Thank you. Thank you.